All right, I'm doing a review of the Free Jump Soften Up Pro stirrups today. Um, I've had them about a year, so this is not an unboxing. I've actually used them three or four times a week um, for the past year. I got them in black, and I did keep the box because, you know, I spend that much on the stirrups. So I keep the box. So when you get them, there is a left and a right. So it's really important that you have it on the correct side. The outside looks like this. So this is the right stirrup. Right foot goes in. This flexible bar is going to be on the outside. These are not a breakaway type. It is a flex at the top. So while they are safer, you can see nice and clean from actually being used. Back to what I was saying, they are a safer stirrup. I don't want to break them, so I'm not going to pull really hard, but there's a lot of flex all the way up until about here. So the thought is that if you get your foot, that will flex open to let it go this way. I haven't seen safety videos of that. Free Jump has videos online of the flex, but not a rider putting their foot through the stirrup as if they were being dragged. So I'd be curious to see if anyone comes up with that, but... Anyway, um, how the stirrup leather attaches, free jump stirrups, you can use regular ones. There's an eyelet right here, so you're going to pull down. This is the stuff that I was looking for before I bought them, videos of how to actually use these. I didn't find a lot, so that's why I'm making this video today. So a really wide footbread, very aggressive tread. There's a bit of an angle down to help keep your heel down. Again, these are all black. You can get different ones in different colors. I love them. Super comfy. Very expensive. So you kind of got to be in the mode to spend a lot of money on them. But if you do, I highly recommend going through Fundus. F-U-N-D-I-S. It's a German company. And even with, you know, shipping or taxes or whatever, uh, was still saved like over $100 versus buying in the U.S. from Dover or Smartpak. Uh, the Soften Up Pro that I have is the more expensive version because they are the larger size. If you see ones that just say that are cheaper and they don't say Pro, um, they're actually made because they're made for a smaller foot. So if you're a really petite adult or a child, there is a little bit of a cheaper option. Um, so I'm kind of doing the stirrup review. Again, love them. This is kind of maybe more of not so much a review, but just what to expect besides pictures online. I also got the free jump stirrup leathers that are the ones that are connected like this. They look a little odd compared to a regular stirrup leather. I had Millbrook wide leathers before. Really liked them, but you know, I wanted to go all in with the free jump stuff. Um, love these, love the stirrups. It's definitely an investment. So when you get them in the box, going to actually come with a rubber grippy option to put on the inside that would actually be touching your saddle or a soft kind of leather option which is what I use because I have a French leather saddle and I believe that rubber would completely destroy the saddle. So they literally velcros on like this um, and it has stayed on wonderfully. These were the brown, there's a brown and a black. They have a quite, quite a reddish tone. So they're still getting dark enough to be as dark as my brown Antares saddle. I wish they weren't quite as red. You can see close up, they've got quite a red to them. But if you were to really, you know, use a darkening oil, I'm sure it would help. I was worried about stretching. You can tell this is darkened up, but love them, very comfortable. I'll show you, I have a pair on the saddle right now, how they attach, because that was one thing I was kind of curious is how it kind of sits and, and all that. So this kind of works like the Millbrook or Total Saddle Fit, any of the wider stirrup leather, you're just gonna get that uh, effect of a little bit more stabilizing, a little more comfort. I had some people tell me this was gonna cause damage on my saddle sitting against it. I have not had that issue whatsoever. Um, and again, at the same time, I got these stirrup irons and leathers. I got a bonus from work last year. Also, sprung got a gently used uh, Antares saddle, soft French leather. 
no issue with that. Um, so let's see, let me show you how they go on. And then I also bought, these were like less than 20 bucks. I highly recommend or getting the little, a lot of people make them online, the stirrup covers, because these are extremely aggressive against your saddle. Not even that really touches, but just the, these edges are going to be um, not nice to your saddle. And if you use these stirrup leathers, you actually can't run them up like you would a traditional leather. So I'll show you how you're going to do that, which again makes these little pouches very nice to protect your saddle. So, let's see what you can see. You're going to go on your saddle just like any normal leather would, but the way that they look, let me take this down. It's like this. If you didn't have the cover on, you're going to run it up through. Let me actually move you for a second. Watch my big old hand in the way. It's going to look like that. You can take it out. Okay, it's one handed. And it's going to hang just like that. And again, you can see these are pretty red. Um, I haven't really done any darkening oil on them yet. So I love how it hangs already ready for your foot to go in. There's no stress on the knee. I had knee surgery uh, last year and it's just been really helpful to have um, no flex because you know your normal ones, syrups are gonna hang like this. These hang ready to go. And I found it's really easy to get your foot in and out of the stirrup and then the tread really helps with keeping the grip in the stirrup. I'm sorry if there's dog hair in a mess. This is like, this is real life. Um, so again, these go on this way. There's a lot of pole adjustability all the way up this, but you do because of how it's shaped, wanna make sure you, you look at the size chart because you could see where you could run out of room um, where this could get way up here. So I believe these are a, a medium and I'm just under 5'4". So running them up, set this down. Running them up, there's a couple different ways. You can literally grab them like this, take the loop here, and run it through here, and then it just hangs. That's the best way I found to do it. And then while it's still on my horse, I go ahead and put these syrup covers on, and then I run it through the top and snap it. And then it's all done. I know some people take the irons off completely every ride. I am way too lazy to do that. So, excuse me. I keep them on and just use the pads and then my saddle cover fits perfectly over the top of everything. It's a little extra step, but once you get into the habit of it, it doesn't take very long at all. So this has probably been all over the place because this is my very first ever YouTube video. But uh, if you have any questions or didn't cover anything, these do clean up really nicely. I'm just showing you real life. Don't scrub them that often. I don't really show. Um, so I just clean it to keep everything in good working order and a little dust doesn't hurt it. So um, love them. Great weight, two of them. Not too heavy, not too light. I hate really light stirrups like the composite ones. Um, too light, but these again are not like a heavy, clunky metal type stirrup. So I know they come in a few different colors. They're not a rep or anything, so you can go on the website and get a little more information. But again, um, this one is for the right foot. So you want to make sure the open bar is always on the outside for safety. And uh, the best, I would say, if you don't, if you can't afford them new. I would look on like English Tack Trader Facebook um, Facebook groups and try and think if there's any other ones. You'll sometimes see people put them up for sale. We'll kind of buy them, try them out, put them up for sale. And they're generally a good 50, 100 bucks less than they would be brand new. And again, like I said, don't be afraid to shop like European or UK stores. European better um, that I found like German uh, Fundus, Fundus website, Fundus Equestrian. That's who I got these from. I got the stirrup irons, the leathers, 
and the covers and it was about $400 total US. So, um, and I think if I had gone with Smart Packer Dover, it would have been like 500 to 560. This was May of 2021. So, or actually March or April of 2021. Anyway, prices could be a little different now. It's very much an investment because they're pretty expensive. If you can't afford free jumps, I would highly recommend going maybe the a more affordable version of something a little different than your regular metal peacock phyllis irons would be um, jointed irons. You can get them on Amazon for less than 40 bucks. Um, they're a little more comfortable, a wider, wider foot base, and you don't have to spring for the you know, Herm Springer $200 ones, they're just kind of knockoff jointed irons where, you know, each side of the iron is, has a joint and then it's covered with rubber. That's what I used before I had these. And then again, I had had the Millbrook leathers, which I think were about 120 US dollars, maybe, and they have sales periodically. Um, and those were really nice going from a regular width uh, stirrup leather to a wider one i noticed helped in stability and comfort so um that's a lot more of an affordable option if you don't want to go with the three jump but i love them they're really comfortable i've literally never lost a stirrup while i've had these jumping on the flat trail riding um i would say the only hesitation is they're just really expensive and if they were to break I don't know much about like the warranty or whatever. It is a French company and supposedly is pretty nice. So I would imagine it wouldn't be too bad. But um, if I didn't cover anything that you guys might find interesting, just leave me a comment um, and ask because I'm like nerd out over this stuff. So I like talking about it and hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.